Good evening, everybody. It's Avril from Mitchy Titch here. How are you all? Are you all well? Good, good, good. Well, don't you think it's gone a little bit chillier today? The temperature seems to have dropped a little bit. Oh, don't worry about me being in my vest top. I'm always hot and I'm in my house at the moment and the heating is on. So, yes, I'm warm. <laughs> But outside it was quite chilly, wasn't it? I did put my hoodie on and my big coat. So, I hope you're having a good week up to now. Your first week back in school, everybody. First week. Is it going okay? Good. Well, this evening, we're going to be reading Me and My Mammoth by Joel Stewart. It's a really good story. What do you think of that? Do you know what a mammoth is? Well, mammoths were around before the Ice Age. And I suppose you could say they were like big elephants, but even bigger, much, much, much bigger than an elephant. If there were mammoths around today and you stood one back next to an elephant, an elephant would look tiny. Mm -hmm. They had huge, huge tusks that went right down and up like that. Enormous they were. So, are you ready? He looks quite comfortable, doesn't he? On Mammoth's trunk. <laughs> okay, if you're ready, we'll get going. Me and My Mammoth by Joel Stewart. Here we go. Oh. I really love books. Do you really love books? I do. They're absolutely fabulous. I love them. So, off we go. <laughs> I'll show you the illustrations as well. They're also by Joel Stewart as well. Very clever person. First page. Hmm, looks like we're having a bit of a mess day here. Does it look a bit of a mess? Looks a bit of a mess to me. Off we go. I like to make things, but the things I make never seem to turn out how I want them. I've tried paper folding, but my paper swan was a bit weird. I've tried cooking too, but Dad's birthday cake wasn't quite what I'd planned. I've even tried knitting. Maybe I should have started with something easier than a pair of gloves. <laughs> look at these can you see it, it yeah, it's definitely not a swan that is it but look at that cake <laughs> it's quite funny hmm <gasps> they were supposed to be a pair of gloves but it looks like they turned into fish <laughs> every time I try to want make one thing I end up with something different it's very disappointing so I decided to get a kit with instructions and everything I couldn't possibly get it wrong. But when I had finished, it was much larger than I expected. And it was nothing like the picture on the box. Oh, look! <laughs> Can you see what is on the picture on the box? It looks like an aeroplane to me. How on earth did he end up? with a mammoth. Shall we find out? I think so. I had to put it in the tool shed as there really isn't room for a mammoth in our house. The mammoth seemed happy enough. I think he really liked all the tools. There was an awful lot of banging and hammering going on. I was too curious to sleep. So I got out of bed. Oh, talking of bed makes you yawn, doesn't it? day. We're all tired, aren't we? Got out of bed and went to the window. It seemed that the mammoth liked making things too. And now he wanted me to come for a ride. <gasps> Don't worry, I thought, as I struggled aboard. Riding a mammoth is just like riding a hairy bicycle. Goodness me, look what mammoth made. He made himself some wings. Oh. Ah. Then 
We left the ground. I wasn't scared. Up, up, up above the town, on the back of a flying mama. Whoa, look, he's got a propeller and everything. Whoa. After a while, I even opened my eyes. Oh, could you tell me where you think they are now? Oh, that's right. Can you see all the ice caps? The polar bears? Oh, what a journey! Flying by Mama is the finest way to travel. The landing was tricky though, but we met some Arctic foxes who were very excited to see us. They gave me some lovely warm clothes. Look. <laughs> you see? Oh. Then they invited us to an ice sculpture competition. Well, I'd never made anything with ice before and I liked a challenge. I decided to make a graceful ballerina. So, can you see all of these Arctic foxes are making ice sculptures? There's a piano, a cactus, a ship. What did he say he wants to make? He wants to make a graceful ballerina. Mm, has it turned into a graceful ballerina? No, I think it looks like an arctic fox. <laughs> it didn't turn out quite as I had hoped, but I didn't mind at all. It was a brilliant stegosaurus and the arctic foxes were very impressed. Look at what he made. Oh, wow! Best of all though, I made lots of new friends. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Looks like they had a great time. It was almost time to go home when the foxes presented me with their annual award for excellence in ice sculpture. I felt very honoured. I don't really remember flying home that night but we must have got back safe and sound. We must have done because look, we ended up back in bed. Since then, I don't really mind if I try to make one thing and end up with something else. I still like to make things. Yes, I like to make them more than ever. Wow, look what he's making now. A rocket. Where do you think he'll go to in that rocket? Mm -hmm. I think so too. The moon. What a lovely story. Yes. So do you think he was dreaming? Or did that mama really make himself into an aeroplane? And did he fly to the Arctic Circle and make a stegosaurus? Imagination is a wonderful thing and that's what books allow us to do. Go into our mind and imagine all kinds. So everybody, I hope you're in your pyjamas. Snuggle on down. I'll see you all on Friday. Hmm, what shall we read then? I'll have a good look through my stash of books. Okay everybody, take care. And as usual, to all my little yogis, love you all to bits. See you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.